Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, I we're playing Resident Rise, but I had no intention of recording yet. But I looked at my map, I opened it up, and I looked, and I was like, what is going on? That, uh, what, what is orange? And I look out the windows of my house, and this is what I see. Somehow, a patch of oil has caught on fire. I have no idea how this has occurred. I don't think there's any lava anywhere nearby, and I don't believe there's any storms going on. I have no idea how it's on fire. Not the slightest clue. Is it impacting with like a patch of lava underneath or something, or...? But I don't know if uh, oil ever actually burns out. Huh. Oh god. Spider. Uh, so you may notice a new tool in my hand. This is the Atomic Disassembler from Mechanism. If you shift right click you can switch it between modes, which I just leave it on normal mostly. And it hits like a train. You know, I probably could have taken the speedboat out here. Uh, I was messing with fish. I've decided to temporarily stop for now. Like, I've actually taken everything from Mariculture and thrown it in a box. This is before I discovered that I, my client was actually having an issue. It wasn't displaying the genders of fish on the names like it was supposed to, and so it was making things deeply confusing. That and some of the things make very little sense. Like, for example, it may say very high fertility, but fertility is only the chance of producing offspring from an egg, Whereas lifespan apparently affects the number of eggs they produce, which I suppose it makes sense in a way. But I've started progress down here on. Oh, and I made the fish tank block because I was confused as it was. If you ever used bees, it's the same thing. 250 pages of the ability to slap fish in here. And here's pretty much everything from the mod. I made fish fingers, but they're kind of bad. They're basically like eating watermelon. So, currently I've got two floors and two separators. And I've been running into poison quite a bit. And I also ran into an abandoned mine shaft, which I haven't explored anything of yet. I suppose I'll give it a quick look. Uh, well, there's water. Quick look is work now. No longer care. So... I have a plan. Here's the base ladder for the bit that I'm going to make. I suppose I can get started on this now. I should have a majority of the things I need. Uh, as you can tell, I was tearing it out with uh, MFFS, Modular Force Fields. And I still have this hooked up. So, I haven't done anything with oil or lava because I pretty much stop the mariculture stuff at the moment. I'll go back to it eventually, I'm sure, but it, it was just trying to deal with it. I felt like I didn't have a proper infrastructure. So, that said, I need to get started. I knew what I was going to do, and then I forgot. Uh, but yeah, the atomic disassembler, I showed it before, it's actually really easy to make, and it functions really well as a tool. But I think what we're going to do is... I want to get started on blood magic. I should have a furnace. Do I have any stone? Go. Oh, I do have stone. Cool. Uh, I went and got some more ender pearls. I suppose now is as good a time as any to make the... World Anchor. Oh. No, no, I don't have any obsidian. Never mind. Uh, I want to make the world anchor, anchor because it's just a little bit less cheaty than some of the other world loading solutions. Uh, I'm going to grab this. 
I want to use a different block eventually, but I kind of want to have a structure at the moment. Now, I, what I want to do is I want most of the altar to be underwater, uh, because it's going to extend downwards. Oh, hey, there's mushrooms here. Good, good. Uh, mushrooms are one of the things I was lacking for some of the mariculture stuff, and I'm going to have to acquire that. But I want to have sort of a sunken ruin effect going on. And as such, uh, what is a fairly middle ground? I believe this patch of clay is signifying that this is probably a good idea. It, it It's actually so perfectly placed. I want... Yeah, I want the altar here. The first batch of runes will then go on top of these around the outside. I can always replace these later. And I'm just trying to get the... Well, that was not what I was after. I'm probably going to have stairs or something. But I'll put these here. The next set of runes will then be on the outside of these. I might as well fill this in the whole way. So I was looking at the Blood Magic uh, new spell system. I actually really like it. It's way better than its old spell system, for sure. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Oh, I probably should have brought what I was after. This is why I wanted it here. It's really dark, really sinister. Looks like it's being hidden in somewhere where you would never enter otherwise. So that was my planning for positioning it here. And I'll actually be able to bury parts of it under the dirt, which will make it look even more like what I was going for. I pass by this witch hut all the time. All the time. Because I have to to get out. And I was piloting around the boat a bit, and it's actually not that hard. And if you're the regular Minecraft music play, that is because uh, I've made several attempts to deal with the buzzing in my microphone, and it's just been pretty much impossible. Now, I did want to go about blood magic. I wanted to try to avoid a certain aspect of it entirely, because there's a lot of people that, you know, are so against it. But, it, it just doesn't work that way. Things just don't always work the way people want them to. It's a mod, if you find it offensive, I'm sorry, it's a game, and I'm sorry that you can't tell the game apart from the real world, but... I can't help you. Now, I'm probably going to want some form of health regeneration, maybe... Uh, let's get a diamond at the moment, though. You know, I, I'm going to try and get something set up, maybe. Uh, actually, some of the things I think about it shouldn't be too terribly hard to work with. Okay, I need... Well, first of all, I need to get rid of quite a bit of this mud. Although, the cool thing about the speedboat is it will... If I hit the mud, if it's just one thick, like, width-wise... I can still drive over it very slowly, and I can still turn uh, in it. So I could actually use it for sharp turns and junctions to make it simpler to navigate small channels. Because I managed to get it the whole way through here, out through here, up through. I dug a little bit here so I could get past, went up, and tore down a brown dye tree that was right there. Maybe right? it wasn't right there. Or maybe the map's just not updating. There. Rebuild them. Did it update? No. Okay. I must have found a different brown dye tree or something. But, this is one of the big things about the mod that I think people don't like, is the ability to do this. And as you can see, blood is going into the altar. Now, the runes, the slates, rather, that I got from before... Whoops. Not you, Void Sigil. I didn't mean to click on you. Uh, they're 
they allow me to skip certain aspects of this entirely because I can use them to build regular blood runes and skip past entire sections of the mod. Because what I can do is normally you would sit here doing this to make the slates. Oh, wow, that's new. That is new. Sorry, that little thing never used to be there before. I like it. I like it a lot, and it smooths out a lot of things that I didn't know about the system. Okay, so... I'm going to assume... that the Dagger of Sacrifice will not tell me yet. Uh, at first, with no... In this case, it would be self-sacrifice runes if you're using the dagger, uh, the yellow one's here, uh, you get, I believe, 100 LP per heart in the altar. Now, as you can see, I made a weak blood orb. One of the things I can do with this, I can make lava crystals so I can actually power things off of my blood network. Uh, there's the rune of the orb, which requires... I could actually make that sort of... Well, not really. I am perfect ritual stone, which can do some things. One of the first things we definitely need to make is the divination sigil. Now, it looks like the other things you can do... Oh, I can use the orb to make some of the things in the alchemical chemistry set. Interesting. But, uh, there's a bunch of things in here. These, like... All these little things, they're part of the new spell system. And I looked into it, it's actually really good. It's kind of like Ars Magica spells, but you have to maintain a physical in-the-world set of stuff. And then you bind the new uh, spell crystal, or whatever it may be. I think it might... Oh no, it's not going to be the cores. Ah, complex spell crystal. Which is made using the alchemical chemistry. Actually, I think it just said alchemic, didn't it? But it's the alchemical chemistry set. That is a pain of a word to say. Now, I do want to expand that out. And I also kind of want to come up with a different way to solve my... Uh, issues of blood. Because I really don't like using the dagger of sacrifice. It's a pain both figuratively and literally. You have to do a lot of waiting for your health to come back, even if you have regeneration. Losing blood causes your food to go down, so you consume more food. Now, there is some ways, and I don't really have a good way at the moment, because you need to teleport mobs or other various ways, or have ugly, ugly contraptions above you, and I'm probably going to have to settle on the ugly, ugly contraption above me, unfortunately. But I can use the mob spawners and the dagger of sacrifice, which you can see requires a tier 2 altar. It's not that hard to make, and I discovered some ways you could automate it without being the player, and I've submitted those to Way of Time, so I'm going to let him try and deal with them. But... Uh, one of the first things I should try and do is get to tier 2, but I'm going to want the divination sigil, which I believe was just 7 glass. It was then a slate, a blank slate. Oops. And I'll just do it in my personal crafting grid here. So what this does is I can do that. If I right-click with it in the air, I can see the amount of blood currently in my network. If I use the weak blood orb, that's well, 200 LP per heart, but that was close. Now, I kind of want to get to the apprentice blood orb as quickly as possible, so that's an emerald and 5,000 LP. Do I have an emerald? I do have an emerald. Uh, it's also going to require... not you... What all can these be used in? Speed runes and the spell tables. Yeah, that's why I don't like making stuff out of them. Uh, I don't know if I want to do self-sacrifice, because it's going to be such a pain. I'd rather build the box 
and sacrifice mobs. So, I, I kind of have to build a tier 2 altar first anyhow. Ah, I can afford 8 of them. How much? Do I have any stone? 48. Uh, slates. 16. I really didn't want to do that. I don't believe it costs uh, blood in order to make them. No. No. You know what? I'm going to make it daytime. So, my previous one was longer than expected, especially with a lot of talking. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, this one I'm probably going to do a lot worse job of not doing, but I'm... Oh, I should probably get the Emerald, shouldn't I? I did request the Emerald, too. Good. Good. I'm probably going to make the... Dagger of Sacrifice, and then set up one of the mob spawners I got over there, and use that to sacrifice mobs. Ooh, an Enderman. Ender Pearl? Yes. Ooh, another Enderman. I'm coming to get you. See, this thing does enough damage that I actually two-shot Enderman, which could be considered a bit strong. But its power supply also runs out pretty quickly. So, here is the plan. These right here, these eight, I break these, and I will now take these runes. Oh, before I do that, let me put the divination sigil here. You can see there's currently 800 LP in there, and the altar's current tier is one. Um, I don't know if he has any plans to implement how you make the higher tier altars into the game, but I, if he can find a good way, I'm sure he probably will. Which, by the way, his name is Way of Time, so by saying a good way, it's actually kind of funny how that works out. So now, it, you can use the blood runes or any of these runes, which I could have used the speed runes, but this early on, I personally believe that to be a bad idea. So, nearly kill myself here. I'm going to need to put five more hearts worth in in order to be able to make the uh, Apprentice Stone. But the Apprentice Stone will let me be able to make things like the Rune of Sacrifice here, and then I'll really be able to get this kicked off and moving. And I will actually be able to expand this quicker than the mod kind of intends you, because I have all the uh, things to work with that you normally shouldn't. And I really should have come up the way to get some regeneration. But Okay. Luckily, I'm wearing the obsidian armor, so I'm pretty much untouchable at the moment. Uh, things that can kill me are wither, and poison can drop me to half a heart. So that's fun. Now, what is the actual drain rate for this? No, oh, five. Is it like that for everything? No, this is 30. No, wait, what? Usage is 30, drain is 50. Let me look at something quick. Huh. Oh. No. I'm not sure. That is a bit confusing, I'm not going to lie, but uh, the way you charge your orbs is, like, I mean, yeah, you can right-click on it when you have nothing on the altar to improve it, quickly bind that to me, but if you, say, do this, we put the 800 LP in the altar, if I place this here, so we had, as you can see, 800 in my network, it's now draining into the orb and entering my blood network. So, the reason why you want the runes of sacrifice and self-sacrifice is because while you can right-click with these, that's not the best idea. 
So, what I can do now is I can actually make the runes of sacrifice and self-sacrifice, if I so desire at the moment. I can also start making a few of the sigils, although, until I get some blood in my network, and kind of a gas tier, and feathers. Eh, I actually do kind of want to make the void sigil. I never really valued it before, but... With the amount of poison I've been running into, I'm actually thinking it's a really good idea. And the green grove is fun. You turn it on and you stand your plants and they'll grow faster. So that's helpful. Ooh, gunpowder. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I hadn't actually meant to start recording yet. It was just I had seen the, you know, giant flaming pile of lava... Actually, not lava, but giant flaming pile of oil, which I'm not sure if it's actually burning down. I think it's just staying there on fire. I have a permanent fire hazard in my ocean. I don't like it. Hopefully, if it rains, it'll put it out. So, in order to make the dagger of sacrifice, I'm sure you had already seen it. Oops, what am I doing? The simplest way is to make an iron sword. Actually, it's the only way. So, send me my stuff. Make me a sword. And how much LP do that does that consume to make 3,000? Uh, I'm going to have to come up with a way. Is there any way to get regeneration? I know that all of these require stuff. What about you? Uh, I don't have any magical crop stuff going. There is a way I know how to, but the unfortunate part is, is I don't have mine chem set up. It's not actually that hard, honestly. At mine chem. It's just a bit expensive, if that makes any sense. Oh, well, if that's your only problem. I can solve that real quick. Don't lie to me. So, it looks like this is going to make ten of them. Oh. They run out of cobble. Need more cobble. System lacks cobble. I need to get the system set up just a little bit better as well, so I can feel more comfortable about spitting things into the system, like all those double chests, but I'm not really in a comfortable position for that at the moment. Uh, I want to get some of the Applied Energistics ME chests set up, and then hook them up to the ME controller and make an ME interface, but that's going to take time. Yeah, we'll put you in there. And we're going to need a decomposer, which is simple enough. First we need, we're going to need two blocks, actually. Throw those back into the system. Oh, uh, oh what have I done? No. Oh, uh, stop it. Stop. Now we got two of those. Throw those back in the system. It's just throwing them in the system makes everything so much easier to create. Because then I can do that. And now I want to make this and click. Click. Well, I suppose now I can make uh, aspirin. So, if we look, aspirin takes carbon 9, hydrogen 8, oxygen 4 in the chemical synthesis machine. Now, conveniently, if you were to run a piece of wood through, you have a 40% chance of two cellulose. Cellulose happens to contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So, if I take a stack of wood, and due to my power setup, we're going to do this down here. I don't know why, but every single time I get around to trying to play around with mine chem, I end up with them, like, on the ceiling. So, if I take this wood, throw it in here, 
it's going to drain power, cutting them apart. And then if I reprocess them, I'm going to entirely fill up my inventory. Now, if we look at aspirin real quick, it was carbon 9, hydrogen 8, oxygen 4. So we'll put 4 oxygen, 9 carbon. As you can tell, these are ghost uh, ghost things. I believe that was the recipe. Yes, it is. So, now if I throw these in here, I'll uh, try to fit well, as many as I can. Now, energy per item, 500. That can go up to as high as 10,000 or so, depending on what item you're making, as far as I've been able to tell, unless the power is just decreased. Yeah, each item costs a certain amount of energy to synthesize. So in this case, it costs 500. So what I can do is I can throw these in here, and I can just make as many as I can. I'll just leave this in here for now. Now, the aspirin is really cool. I actually learned about the uh, drug effects from the creator of the Resident Rise mod pack, Kieran Dave, and it's actually really nifty how they work. So, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to just waste a bit of my own blood, and I'm going to dump it into the uh, Apprentice Crystal here. Oh, screw off, Thorns. So... The basic, the weak blood orb, I believe it can hold 10,000 LP. The apprentice blood orb can hold 25,000. Now, oh, oh, it consumed two. I hate it when it does that. But we have three minutes of regeneration two from this aspirin, which is crazy and extremely useful. Unfortunately, I'm still going to have to burn through food doing this, but this makes it just a little bit less of an issue and I hate bread. I need to get a source of, like, meat or something. In fact, I know where I can get a good source of meat. I can get it from Mine Factory Reloaded. And I might try and set that up next time. Uh, I'm not sure how long this has been going, and probably by the time I stop, it'll be a bit late, but I wish I had feathers. I need to get a hold of a supply of chickens. And now if I just... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to leave that in there. I wish to make the devices and stuff. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Which... Once it empties this, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to go kill some chickens... And make sure I save some chickens or something so I can easily locate them. And I'll come back, and I want to really get this made. So it, you'll see why once I make it. But the the air sigil is amazing. Why does, why does that happen? Why is there sometimes occasionally mobs with bonus status effects? I don't understand this. Oh, well. So, go in here, and uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, uh, I've got roughly a minute and a half to go for what I wanted. Picked up another Ender Pearl, apparently. Uh, however, I did have to go and get a guest here, but when I did get the guest here, I got a second guest here. So, oh, please work. Crap. Or maybe now? No. Of course you'd be like that. So, I suppose I will request one guest here. I got... Well, I got 18 feathers. I guess I had some. Okay, request six of you, and we will request one of the reinforced slates. Bam! Oh, yeah. Oh, and I also got some of these glow shrooms while I was in the nether... They're the best thing ever, because they provide lime dye. I also picked up some mushrooms, because if I get... When I end up messing with Mariculture again, I'm going to want them. Yeah! Glow shrooms. Their glow value is practically nil. It doesn't matter, because they're green. I like that. It actually adds a nice bit of color to this otherwise colorless environment. 
Well, I suppose there's color here, but I don't like that texture. To be honest, for the uh, whole point of consistency, and because that doesn't follow the thing, I might actually make it look like the Biomes of Plenty uh, algae, but I'll probably make a slight tweak so you can tell them apart. So I have a source of lime dye, so I'm officially the happiest person. And uh, now I've got the air sigil, which should help me get from point A to point B. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, too far. Now you can take fall damage while using it, although you seem less likely to take some when aiming down. Whee! As you can see, that takes 50 per use. Uh, oh. Right. Left in the table. But, uh, I'll probably fill up the apprentice orb to make sure that I can use this more. Ow. And I'm gonna have to come with a source of food. God dang it, I threw you because I didn't want you. Stupid Viroxes. Why am I down here? So, I'm gonna have to call this good. And uh, next time we'll probably work on the AE stuff. I'll get it set up so we can get it done really quick. And so that way it can get busted out and done. And I'll probably set up for doing a few of them even. Okay, light glitch. Anyhow, I'm going to call this good for now. I've got my air sigil, which gives me a little bit more mobility. And I'm going to probably set up the basis for the sacrificing. And I'll probably actually just make the dagger of sacrifice in between. So, yeah, I'm going to call this good. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.